Episode 16 and the finale of Season 2 of The Bad Batch, titled Plan 99, was... Wow. This is Star Wars Music Analysis. The loud and energetic music that ended the last episode is replaced by a combination of silence and bending drones. As they look over the canyon that they dangle from, high strings reflect the high heights that they are at. This is interrupted as the stormtroopers open fire and more energetic music enters. It continues, and even as the scene jumps back to the summit, it continues underneath, more lightly now. Send an air support to shoot them down. But, sir, our own troops are trapped on the rail line. They could get caught in the crossfire. We jump back to the dangling rail cars then, and I can find it interesting that stormtroopers seem to be better shots when they have to shoot long distances while dangling from rail cars than when it's point blank range in a hallway. Go figure. Clearly, hallways are the kryptonite of these elite forces. As they look out of the rail car for the air support, the music cuts away as we wait. As we begin to hear the ships though, the tremolo strings begin to accompany them as well. The scene gets brutal from there as the ships unload on the rail car and the rail itself. The tense cords and the brass underneath make this intense all on its own. Tech runs for the rail car while it begins to fall. As Tech falls, the minor chord that we hear feels like a looming wall of horror that can't even be subdued by his still dangling. It serves to make everything we see next all the more painful as we begin to see what's going to happen. Tech tells them to sacrifice him in order for them to all be saved, and that is Plan 99. It's as if, in that moment, nothing else matters. The stormtroopers, the ships, nothing matters but this moment between Tech and Wrecker. Wrecker, unable to leave a friend behind, watches as Tech sacrifices himself for his friends. When have we ever followed orders? As the rail car releases, the music comes back, even more powerful and haunting than before as it takes up a seemingly new theme. It's crushing from beginning to end as it begins on a minor chord each time before moving through dissonant passing tones to the next chord. Everything ends in a crash then and turns to silence, but it all felt so quick and sudden as well. The music, the pacing, the dialogue, everything felt so well done and well placed for this moment. It's heart-wrenching, and yet there's never even any time to mourn. And so, as the next scene begins in silence, the same theme for the lost comes back again. It's in this cue that everyone slowly remembers and realizes what's happened. The music, lighter now, connects to the devastation that we just witnessed. But then all music fades as we witness everything through the distorted vision of Omega as she falls in and out of consciousness. There's no music to carry the story here as everything feels unnatural and disconnected for both us and for Omega. We can't help but feel a sense of horror as we watch and see the fear through the helmet of Wrecker. Mantel. AC can help us. Hurry! Our fears are answered with relief slightly later as Omega wakes up to Hunter and AZ. Hello, Omega. The silence that continues reflects the emptiness of this scene as the team is now without tech. 
As Omega remembers though, and Hunter tells her that Tech is gone, the same music cue enters again, connecting these moments and ensuring that the pain of Tech's loss is continued to be felt. He's hurt. He, he needs us. Hunter tells Omega that their days of being soldiers is over and that they'll return to Pabu. He asks Omega if that's what she wants and she says yes. The faintest moment of her theme also shines through at this moment. We then jump to Sid and Wrecker, and the lack of music here immediately gave me a bad vibe. We know that Sid is a shady character that could betray them at any moment, and with the lack of music, this scene felt cold and emotionless. Liked him. Yeah. Me too. Sure enough, moments later, the Empire arrives. As we return to Sid, drones have now entered. They build up as the clone commandos enter and take down records. Energetic music pushes into the next scene as Omega escapes, but as Omega stops, the motion of the music stops as well. As she says she already lost Tech, the theme from when he fell returns briefly again before she ascends the ladder. I can't do it, AZ. I already lost Tech. I'm not gonna lose him. Light strings play as Hemlock arrives. I believe that this is the first time we've actually seen him without hearing his theme. The music stays quiet then as Omega and AZ sneak. Well, Omega sneaks. AZ clearly isn't built for this. Do not agree with this course of action, Omega. It is not safe. It will be if you keep quiet. As we return to the standoff, Hemlock's music finally enters. As Hunter defies him though, it disappears, similar to how Crosshair defied away Hemlock's theme in episode 14. I you to keep breathing. Omega's not going anywhere with you. Hemlock throws Tech's goggles, and as he does so, the theme from Tech's fall plays yet again. Kiner and Filoni refuse to let us forget what happened as we continue to mourn. As Hunter lays down his blaster and picks up Tech's goggles though, Hunter's theme returns as we see him take control of the situation along with one more occurrence of Tech's theme. As AZ and Omega break out of the building, the music is absent as they continue to sneak and avoid detection. That is, until the child decides to open up fire on an entire battalion of Imperial Stormtroopers. Then, the music picks up again with tremolos in the strings, reflecting the tension without the energy of the scene. It stays low energy until a quick burst of a clone commando stuns her. How did she really think that was going to end? Low music returns as Echo takes his shot at taking on an entire battalion. And I would say his approach is a little better. The music kicks up as Echo operates the ATST through the streets. As we jump to Hemlock and Omega, a brief quiet moment of his theme enters. Then we continue back to the battle and the battle music. As Hunter sees Hemlock's shuttle with Omega leave, the theme that played when Tech fell plays again, further twisting the dagger of this episode for Hunter and the crew as they lose Omega. It builds into a full orchestra as they're forced to leave without her and falls to harp as they leave the chaos and escape into hyperspace. I considered this to be a new theme directly tied to tech until this moment, but now it seems to be a theme tied to loss. Or maybe we've heard this before and I'm just forgetting. Let me know if that is the case. But then the Bad Batch theme comes in in the flute, followed by the horns as we see Hunter's determination and resolve. Hemlock's theme returns as he speaks to Nala Say as we see them continue to talk about what we can only assume is the cloning of the Emperor. After the reveal that the assistant is also a clone, eerie string music plays out the episode and the season. I, I did not see the end of this season going the way it did. Crosshair is unrescued, Omega is captured, and Tech? 
Although the old Star Wars mantra of no body, no death could easily ring true here. Actually, I could see him calculating airflow integrities and matching that to his own body mass in order to calculate how to levitate or something on the way down. I don't know, what do you all think? Is he gone for good or will he actually return somehow in Season 3? We're obviously getting a Season 3, but the wait after this cliffhanger is going to be excruciating. But I absolutely would love to know what you all think as well. Did Tech survive? How will the news be broken to Fee? What's the next step for the Bad Batch? Is Season 3 going to be about building the Clone Rebellion? Will Omega be defiant or help her new sister? And what comes next for the cloning experiments? Tell me in the comments below what you think. Consider checking out my Patreon page using the link in the description where you can help support this channel for as little as $1 a month or download PDFs and MP3s of projects as I complete them along with other perks at higher tiers. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more about the music of a galaxy far, far away. And as always, may the be with you.